Hey guys, your girl Brittany here with BB's Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a project share of what I sent my partners. I hosted a swap over on the Facebook page, Coffee Cake and Crafting, and we all know the whole um, thing that Craft Purge Tony has started with these little mini bookcases. So I, I really wanted to make one, and so I decided to do a swap because I'm sure there was people out there who also wanted to make one too. And with this swap, we had to follow the instructions with the how it was made. And there had to have been included um, in three of the books had to be a, an embellishment. So different embellishments in each book. And then the last book had to be a goodie. So if you remember, I did a craft with me video. So you already seen what this one had came to be the only thing that you didn't see were the dangles that I had on here and that was the other thing as well it had at least two of the books had to have some type of dangle of some sort so I'll go through that in a moment here um my goodie that I found I couldn't fit in in my last book so I put something else in there so I just tucked it behind and here is one of the goodies that I included it is my mind's eye this is a wonder I think and I also just have a simple little card in here a little note to my partner so again here are the books so here is the first one and this one says replenish there is the side there and then inside of this one I have some bag toppers so I have the little smaller one, the one um, that you get from AliExpress, and this one, let's see, and I included an extra bag as well, so she can go ahead and take, reuse this bag, and use the bag topper, and put it on there, and so this one says, enjoy today, and I have the little pearls on there, and some gold, oops, some gold thread, and um, this is a one of the Dollar Tree stickers, and then I have a little butterfly, and um, can't remember if I had told you guys this, but I had used this paper pad to create this swap. This is the Simple Story Spring Farmhouse. Absolutely love this paper pad. And um, here's the other bag topper, another Dollar Tree sticker that says "Feeling Lucky." Again, with the pearls and the thread and the butterfly. And then, again, has an extra bag. And then here I did the circle bag toppers. And then this one says hello with butterfly on there. And then this one says happy with the little flower. And then also used the die cut that comes, or the die that comes with it. And I had did a die cut with my crepe paper rosette. So there's that. And again, like I said, she can take the treat bag or the treat topper out and put it on top of the bag and reuse it and put whatever it is that she would like in there and then I also zhuzh it up a little bit and I added some little um fun stuff on the inside <laughs> in the end I'm just gonna put that to the side so here's the next one here is the dangle that I had included on there this one says let go and has a little flower and this little gem piece here and then some beading and then inside of this one I did my fabric bows so I have this one here here let me so I have this one then we have this one I have this cute green one and I love like the little um little frayed look because it kind of gives it like a rusty rustic look and then this yellow polka dot and then I also with the scraps I had left over I did a couple of paper bows adding the gold thread on there with the butterfly center so there is that one for the next book so again here's what it looks like and then here I did I I don't know um, who did these and how I fell in love with them, but I absolutely have been loving making mini memory decks embellishments. 
I don't know what it is about them, but they're so perfect. Like if you're like me, you have a whole bunch of stickers, especially from Dollar Tree. It's a great way to kill those sticker packs. And so these measure two by three, I believe. And I just did some little layering of flowers. It says, don't forget with the butterfly and some pearls. And then on this side, it says, I love you. It's covered up with the butterfly right now, but it says, I love you with the little flower um, there again. And then it has a little bicycle and it says hooray with the flower and butterfly and then the pearls. And then this one has like a little flower filigree and then a puffy uh, sticker flower butterfly and it says forever and then some. And I also have a felt doily on the background of that one. So you can see that. And then in the last book, again, it was supposed to be the goodie, but my goodie wouldn't fit. So I just threw in... Um, couple little extra things so I did some green and like these are like orange color um, foam flowers and then again I just took the scraps and I made some rosettes this one I used my Martha Stewart punch on and this one I just did regular so there is that one and if you remember from watching my video and I'm actually am going to leave them untied so it makes it easier for my partner to um open up so she's not spending all day opening them up like you saw me doing and um here I'll go like that um if you remember from my video I did say that I had two partners because one of them had to uh, back out here we put this to the side so I can go ahead and show you what I created for the other one and for the second one, I used this paper pad by Echo Park. It's called Fashionista. I absolutely, this is so gorgeous. I love this. I saw somebody um, share it, and I was like, oh my goodness, I got to have it. And I luckily found it at um, Tuesday morning, and which is really, really rare, rare for me because I can never find anything that other people haul from Tuesday morning. So here is... The other one. Oh, it's so ah, I just love this. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. We'll go through the box here in a second. So here is the card that I made for her. And it's a little high heel. This was gifted to me from Laura Vintology by Lola. And I thought it fit really well. It's to help keep it closed. And I have a little note here. But then, um inside I have stamped dream big be yourself and remember to sparkle so that is what that looks like I'm gonna put my little notes back in there just love this <laughs> didn't want to give it up but it worked perfectly with this and then so here is the first book and I have this little thing up here with the flower and then the beads. I didn't do too much decorating on this one because the paper was already so busy. I didn't want to take away from it. So I just added some pearls and then it says crazy fun. I was using up my mom bee stickers that I have got. And a um, little flower here. And inside here I did some bows. And this these are full leather bows. And then I added some glitter tool on top of them to add a little more pizzazz there so I have those and then I have this one so here's the side of it it says I love us and then it says let's do this and then I added this cute pink trim here and then I did a layered um, crepe paper rosette so uh, I have I like literally formed it on top of each other then I have this little flower here and it's XOXOXO and on the inside, I did my chunky crepe paper rosettes, and I added the glitter to the side of them with a pink glitter heart in the center. So I did two of those, and then I have a paper rosette in there as well. The next one, this one has like a bunch of high heels all over it. It says uh, kitten heels, sling back, pumps, and all sorts of fun stuff. And then on the front it says work hard, stay humble. And this cute little dangle here. And I have this little high heel that I got from um, 
Michaels and I went perfect with it. And then I just, again, just do complimentary colors to the collection. And here I did what we call the Tiffany flowers. <laughs> and I um, added some sparkle to them. So I distressed them and then also added some of them I added glitter and then some of them I added diamond dust. So like these two are glitter and then the rest are diamond dust. So that is what those look like. So I have black, pink, white, and then this one is uh, pink and white because not all flowers are just one color. <laughs> So there is that one. And then this one, I was able to fit my goodie in there. But um, it says, keep moving forward. Has that trim again with the heart. It says the best. And then I used the washi tape on here just to decorate it some more. And then the flowers and pearls. And inside of here, I gifted some silver stickles. I gifted some eyelash trim. And then my store-bought goodie were these um, little birdie flowers. I was able to actually fold this up to get it to fit in. I tried to do it with the other one, but it wasn't working for me. <laughs> but that is what is inside the books. And then here is a look at the bookcase itself. Absolutely love it. Sticker says all smiles. And then I have some layered hearts here going all across it. And then I have a bow. Then I have some lace down below and star trim. I took the scraps and made little fishtail banners, had pearls, added this, um, this is that gold sequin thread, uh, which I found and is at Hobby Lobby. And so uh, I actually got this gifted to me in a swap, so now I know where to get it. <laughs> and then um, added the pearls at the top, I added this pink trim here, and then here is the back, so it just says like all like the fashionista words, so glamorous, gorgeous, shopping, makeup, and all that fun stuff. My partner, she um, really likes, you know, fashion stuff, so that's why it was perfect that I had her, ended up having her, and not only that, finding that paper pad as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed what I created. I really hope my partners enjoy what I created for them as well. By the time you see this video, they would have already had received theirs and opened it up and had whatever impression that they would have for it. <laughs> so thank you so much, guys. I love it when we hang out and we got to do this more often. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.